Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. You know I like big strikers and Kara is basically the Austrian version of Onowachu. Look at these stats, pretty damn good. Just ignore the low agility and balance, just ignore that. But look at, he is a solid player according to FIFA. That must mean something. I put him in this team, I've got double Zabitzers, so you know shit just got real. But let's get into some games. And yes, Taliska got upgraded. I told you guys to get him. And yes, I unlocked Clover, but I'm not gonna use him. Let's get into some games. First opponent of the episode has a pretty damn good team. But is he good enough to stop Kara? We're just two minutes into the game and he already scored his first goal. He is unstoppable. He plays pretty much the same as on the watcher. Just don't try to dribble as much with him. Just give him the ball and he scores like this. I mean, that's a pretty damn good goal. Okay, his defending is not great, but my finishing definitely is. Get the ball to Kara, great turn, can't finish, and then a very ugly rebound to get his hat-trick. But the turn was very, very good for a player uh, as big as him. Then uh, my Bauman is going to show you why I use Bauman. Uh, of course, keepers have been uh, incredible this year. They have been patched, I believe, so they're not that incredible anymore. We get a corner kick, Paul keeps... Uh, I don't know why this happens and then Kara's just there. Four goals in 60 minutes, that's pretty damn crazy. Those are in some numbers, I wouldn't compare them to the gods, but that's pretty damn good. Then Schlager gives the ball to Zabitzer. I see room, I fire away. 5-0, I know that uh, long distance finesse shots are a bit OP, but I couldn't leave that hanging. So we win 5-0, pretty damn good. Schlager got four goals. But let's get straight into the second game. Second opponent, this team, I mean, pretty much every team is looking like the same already. We start off the game pretty damn strong. It's not Kara for once, but it's Zabitzer, the Bayern one, not the right winger. Pretty great goal. My opponent tries to do the same thing with Lukaku, but Bauman is just too good. Then some pretty good football from me. He gets an opportunity. We take the ball away from him and then we just calm, composed football, passing out from the back, not rushing anything. This pass was pretty risky but Coman is very good and can keep the ball easily. Kara makes a run but I don't give him the ball because his dribbling is not good enough to make that run. But now he gets the ball and then his shooting is so good, he finishes everything. He really feels like an, an Austrian version of uh, on the watch you. Very very good. Then my opponent strikes back immediately. I don't know why my players leave Lukaku open. You know he's deadly from there. And then just before the half, disaster strikes. Very bad defending for me, all I can say. Great defend, uh, great attacking from my opponent and he makes a 2-2 with KDB. So uh, everything to do again in the second half, but we have Kara and he's just too good. Just in the right place at the right time, Komar gives him the ball perfectly and 3-2 and that's is all the game had to offer. We win 2-3 pretty damn good. So Kara, should you get him? I don't know, I think he's really hard to link, but he was very fun to use. Uh, Reminded me a lot of, like I said, Onowachu and, and Zom. Uh, tall players who are deadly when they get inside of the box. I, I feel like it's always nice to use players that you normally wouldn't use. Yes, this was a division rivals match. Uh, the first game was a foot champions playoff game. I don't really know how it works. But yes, he was very fun to use. I would recommend giving him a go. He's, he's very cheap, so why not uh, try him out? Easy to link if you just use Zabitzer and then just uh, maybe an icon if you have one. But that's going to be all for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.